And tonight, we'll get back to your favorite bedtime story, Pinocchio. Remember, we read last time that Pinocchio had run away from Geppetto to join the circus. Geppetto had carved the little wooden puppet and loved him as though he were his own son. He was so distressed by Pinocchio's disappearance that he set out to find him, only to be swallowed by a whale. In the meantime, Pinocchio so annoyed the circus master that he was thrown into the sea. Pinocchio swam for a very long time. Just when he couldn't swim any longer, he was swallowed by a whale, too. He went deeper and deeper into the whale's belly, and he was surprised by a light. It was a lantern by which Geppetto was working to build a raft. I'd like to get out of here, said Geppetto, but I'm afraid of angering the whale. Don't worry, Geppetto said Pinocchio. You gave me a life. Now I'm going to return the favor. The brave little puppet then began tickling the whale's throat (laughs) until he spit them out. (laughs) They walked along the beach for miles until at last they reached Geppetto's workshop. to be home again, Pinocchio. I see the old shop, eh, Geppetto? It's almost Christmas time. And there's so much work to be done. Hmm, gee, Geppetto, how do you make all those beautiful carved toys? Whittle by whittle. Hey, how come you get all the punch lines? Hey, look, Geppetto. Look at all my fan mail. Oh. It's the census form. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, it says, list all family members uh, broken down by sex. <laughs> None really. They're all broken down by drugs and rock and roll. <laughs> Look, they're sending from the whale. The whale? Oh, look, it's a Christmas card. You got a lobster in your pocket or you're just glad to see me? Oh well. Whoa, what is it? Lunch. Oh, Pinocchio, that's enough of that nonsense. (laughs) Now let's freshen up and decide what we're going to do on our first night back in civilization. Oh, yes, let's. Well, what do you think we should do tonight, Pinocchio? Well, hmm, we could visit the Lessers. Oh, he's okay, but she's rather cold and unfriendly. Mm, Yeah, she is the evil of two Lessers. (laughs) Well, how about the Barnes family? Now they're an iron and steel. Yeah, she irons and he steals. <laughs> oh, well, there's always Cindy. Now she never talks badly about anybody else. No, she's too busy talking about herself. <laughs> oh, well, ah, how about the concert at Symphony Hall? Young Kapersky is playing. Oh, yeah? What do you think of his execution? I think it's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, Pinocchio, why don't we just sit by the tree and open our presents? Now you're talking! Woo-hoo! Oh, and look, this is for you a magic crystal ball! You didn't get what you really wanted, did you, Pinocchio? What is it that you really wanted? Well, gee, Geppetto, 
Do you think you could call your good pal the Blue Fairy? So she can turn me into a real little boy. Yes, Pinocchio, anything for you, my little pine nut. I'll do it. Woo! The number you have dialed has been changed. Hello? Thank you for calling Grimm's Blue Fairy Fairy Tale Line. We serve all your long distance wishes. How may I direct your call? May I please speak with Snow White? Certainly, I'll connect you. Snow White? Snow White! Snow White! I'm sorry, she drifted. Thank you for choosing Grimm's Blue Fairy Fairy Tale Phone. How may I direct your call? It's, it's Pinocchio, quick! Come over! Did you say Pinocchio? <laughs> that little stiff. One moment while I connect you. The operator said the Blue Fairy is coming. from Helsinki. Oh, oh, I was having a fabulous time before I lost my luggage in thin air. Oh, oh, a little man. Oh, not that size matters much. Oh, crystal balls. Oh, mm, love it. Mm. Say, Swami, what do you see in your crystal ball there? Mmm. Now, tell me about my future. I already know about my past. Oh, oh. What do you see, small, dark, and handsome? Oh. Teeny weeny, chilly beanie, the spirits are about to speak. I see a man in your life. Oh, just one? Hmm, well, I'm a busy gal. What can I do for you, Sonny? I want to become a real boy. I don't like you the way you are. Oh, wood and a yard long. Oh. oh, boy, oh, boy. Do you believe in love at first sight? Oh, I don't know, but it sure saves a lot of time. Oh, <laughs> oh, uh, I want to get back to my swell party, so let me grant your wish. Hmm, stand back, boys, for some prestidigitation. Oh, hope is Pinocchio's murder lord. Well, oh, give my regards to Geppetto and uh, come back when you're a little bigger. Hmm, yeah, hmm, you can climb in my wood pile. Oh, oh. So the Blue Fairy's promise had come true. Pinocchio was no longer a puppet. Pinocchio was now a real boy. I'm a real boy.